Hello, my lovelies. It is time for my January 2024 Wheel of TBR. So stay tuned. Hi, hello, welcome. If you're new here, if you're not new here, welcome back. Wheel of TBR is one of my multiple TBR games that I play in order to help pick my TBR for the upcoming month. And the way this one works is I spin my wheel five times and I pick a book for this prompt. Uh, I'll change the prompts out, I mark the board. Uh, you'll get it as we go. If you want, you can check out the playlist. It's a very long playlist. I've been doing this a very long time. But you can see how the game has evolved over time if you like. <laughs> So before we get into these spins, let's look at how I did for last month. So going into last month, I had three rollovers. So we had Project Hail Mary, which I did read. Uh, and then I had Before She Ignites and The Dragon Warrior. And I have not read either of these, so they'll continue to roll over. For my first spin, I had Xander pick, and he selected The Dreaming Tree by Matthew Mather, and I have not read this, and I am going to take a punishment spin for this. So the way the punishment spins work, let me grab my little marker here. As you can see, well, you might not be able to see that well. I'll zoom in. I have marks on the board for each time I land on a slice. When I get five marks, I have to add a spin. The way my punishment spins work is if I'm not going to roll over a book, um, I can spin and then add a mark to wherever it lands. If it just so happens to land on one that's already got four marks, then I will have to do a bonus spin for that. But let's just spin and see what we get. Okay, there are a couple of danger zones here, like uh, coffee different country those all have four i have several that have three on them and now this one has three on it as well for series i selected iron flame by rebecca yaros and i did read this for scrib today's pick aka everend i selected in a holidays by christina lauren and i did read that for Blurbed, I selected Sublime by Christina Lauren, and I did read this. For Food on the Cover, I selected Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and I did not read this, but I will be rolling this one over. And for Big Book, I selected Flashback by Shannon Messenger. <laughs> Very big book. Um, and I have not read this, so this one will be rolling over. So in my Cards Against My TBR that would have posted before this, I told you the results for my Have I Read It, which one's one, as well as the books that I could pick for my TBR knockout. I have not, however, found one for Buzzword, so I'm hoping that I can find something while doing my wheel. All right, let's get to spinning with spin number one. Ooh, that was close. Okay, color. So for that, we're going to do a random color generator. Where is my phone? I'm constantly losing all the things all the time. <laughs> oh, apparently, my phone's going to die soon, too. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this will focus. So we're going to select three times. One, two, three. So I got gray. Telegray. All right. Okay, so this is taking me a minute to find, so I'm going to cut the camera here and go upstairs and see what I can find. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see the color. I don't know if this is exactly the same. It says Telegrade 2. I can't remember if the other had a 2 after it or not, but when I clicked off of it, it went away and reset to a different color, so I just shuffled through until I found something that said Telegrade. But I have Thorn Hedge by T. Kingfisher, and it's got several different shades of gray on it, so I figured this would work. It's also really, really short, like way shorter than I expected it to be. It's barely over 100 pages, so this will be a quick read. And it's like a fairy tale kind of thing, so I'm excited to read this. Okay, so we are going to mark that, which makes this another danger zone. It now has four on it. 
And we will replace color with, I don't know if y'all can see, Snickers trying to help. Alcrate. All right. All right, spin number two. TBR jar. It's been so long since I've gotten that. Let me see if I can remember what my TBR jar is. <laughs> oh, I think it's this. Move those. Yes, this is it. This has been, <laughs> I have no idea how up to date this is. It's not up to date at all. All right, let's see what we got. This says The Midnight Hour by Benjamin Reed and Laura Trender. I have to look that up because I'm not sure even what that is. Oh, it looks like it's a middle grade book. Okay. It looks like this. And let's see. This says, when strange late night letters start arriving at home, Emily's parents set off to investigate. But when her parents disappear completely and Emily is left home alone to face the weird strangers that begin to appear at her door, she takes all of the clues at her disposal and makes for the place where the letters came from. The mysterious night post. What she'll discover is a secret world of the midnight hour, a Victorian London frozen in time full of magic and monsters. Kept safe by an age-old agreement, the night folk have been exiled to a parallel world that can only be accessed by a selected few, including the mail carriers of the infamous night post that operate between the two worlds. Emily's parents are key players in keeping the night folk safe, but when the division of the two worlds is threatened, Emily must search for her parents while navigating this dark and unknown version of London. Armed with only a packed lunch, her very sleepy pocket hedgehog, and her infamously big argumentative mouth, she must escape bloodthirsty creatures of the night, figure out her own family secrets, and maybe just save the world. That sounds super cute. I do recognize that cover, so I, I believe, I, I know I still have it. So I'm just going to stick that little paper there. I'll get the book later. Okay, this one is now also a danger spot. We got a lot of those. Oh my goodness. Because uh, this is now has four on it. All right, let's take TBR jar off and we will replace it with four plus word title. So, I, I want to let y'all know that next month, my wheel of TBR video will be a little bit different. And it'll probably continue to be different for a few months. Uh, because the first half of the year, I'm going to be traveling a lot. And I won't even be home towards, like, until the very, very end of January. So I'm not sure if I'll have time to like, I may actually film my special wheel of TBR thing while I'm gone. I'm going to do a wheel on my phone and take it with me and do it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be traveling for months um, over in Europe and stuff and I, I can't bring this along. So yeah, things are going to change up just a little bit while I'm traveling, but I'll still be doing TBRs. Okay, that was spin number two, right? All right, spin number three. Supernatural. Okay. So one of the books that I'm going to be reading for my Cards Against My TBR is The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. And I think I'm going to select that for Supernatural because it's one I'm going to have to read anyway. And we will mark that. It gives three spots on there, or three marks. And we'll replace Supernatural with, all right, two of them stuck together, Graphic Novel. Oh, I know exactly what I'll pick for that. All right, spin number four. Blind. Okay, I think with that, I just was going to like close my eyes and randomly pick something. You know what? I'm going to do 
because I don't want to have to like move the camera and everything. Also, if the camera moved, it's probably because Einstein's up against my tripod. It looks like it has moved. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if that's any good. <laughs> Dogs everywhere surrounding me. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my books on Goodreads. I'm going to click on my own TBR. All right. To step around the minefield of dogs. Okay, let me get it where you can see where it focuses on. All right, so I'm gonna close my eyes here and I'm just gonna scroll for a couple of seconds and then stop and whatever I stop on, that's what I'm gonna read, okay? So here we go. Okay, it looks like I need to load more, hold on. All right, let me just load a whole bunch and then we'll try it going the other direction. <laughs> this is only showing me a few at a time. All right. Uh, I'm just kind of going to go up and down for a few seconds. Make sure it's focused here. Close my eyes. What did I land on? Oh, I saw it. A life in parts. That's actually in here. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. It's nonfiction. And it's A Life in Parts by Brian Cranston. He's like the Breaking Bad guy. All right, cool. All right. We're going to mark that. Put two on that spot. And we're going to replace blind with Al Crate Jr. All right. This is spin number five. Unless I land on one of the danger zones, that'll be my final spin. All right. Next month, so I'm going to put these markings somehow. Maybe I'll keep a tally of them on my phone or I will keep a notepad and keep it, keep up with it. Um, so I can still do the tally mark things when I'm doing my wheel through my phone. All right, spin number five. Of course we hit one. <laughs> I'm not surprised because we had one, two, three, four danger zones. Uh, but this is a different country, so I need to read a book set in a different country other than my own. Give me a minute to figure something out. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go with uh, the winner from my Have I Read It number 66, which was The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang, because this is set in Paris at the dawn of the modern age. All right, so let me... you. Erase these marks. It's hard to step here because there's literally a dog under my feet. All right, and we will replace different country with Once Upon a Book Club Adult Box. Okay. And I vlog those. Um, like I'll do a vlog where I open all the gifts and everything. Okay. So that was my fifth spin. Um, I don't mark for the next one, um, the bonus spin. I just mark for the regular spins. But I do have one more spin to go. So spin number six. Book outlet. That only has one mark, but it doesn't matter because I'm not marking on it. Uh, but I will change the prompt out. Okay. Let me go and just look at one of my random book outlet hauls and I'll pick something from that. I also think the dogs moved the tripod again. <laughs> okay, so I just went and uh, pulled up my most recent book outlet haul and picked a random spot in the video and it landed on The Girl in the Mirror by Rose Carlisle. I pulled it up here on Goodreads. 
I'll find the book later. Uh, but this says it is a mystery thriller. Um, it's adult. And it says twin sisters Iris and Summer are startlingly alike. But beyond, that, uh, beyond what the eye can see lies a darkness that sets them apart. Cynical and insecure, Iris has long been envious of Summer's seemingly never-ending good fortune. When Summer calls Iris to Thailand to help her sail the family yacht to the shells, uh, Iris has secret hopes for what might happen on the journey. But after a disturbing incident in the middle of the Indian Ocean, everything changes. Now Iris has the chance to step into the golden life she always envied and get one step closer to the $100 million inheritance left by her manipulative father. All Iris would need to do is ensure she's the first of his seven children to fulfill the strange conditions of his will. But Iris soon, discover, soon discovers that her twin was keeping more than one secret, and Iris's life lurches between glamour stream and paranoid nightmare. In a family in which the winner takes all, whom can she trust, and how far will she go to get the life she's always dreamed about? I think it sounds fantastic. So... That will be my sixth and final book. I do need to change this prompt out, which is hard to do with the dog right here. This is Einstein currently between my legs. <laughs> so I don't mark for these bonus spins, but I will change out the prompt. So for this one, a whole bunch of them stuck together. That was Snicker that just moved the tripod. I got Hoopla Wreck. All right. Stick that on there. So yeah, this is how the board is or the wheel is looking for now. Um, I will have something special going on with my um, temporary temporary virtual wheel, I guess. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine. And uh, I look forward to playing that next month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Snickers playing with the ball and just move my tripod again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.